Grandpa Newby reporting to duty with the OG Victus equipped with the Moore's dot sight. That's a new one. So let's take a look and see what that does for us. 9% decrease in the ADS. Definitely going to be worthwhile. You need all of it you can get with the Victus because it is a relatively slow aiming down sight. If you take a look at the damage though, 322 in the head, upper torso 199, a one shot kill to the lower torso 153 as long as you're not shooting through cover. Next we'll go to the grip and we're playing free for all. So the 49% decrease in flinch resistance is going to be worthwhile. ADS movement speed, we're going to quick scope. So it is what it is. We don't need to move that much. The Mac 8 21.5 inch barrel increases our ADS a paltry 3%, but we need it. Effective damage range, minimum damage range are affected by only 5% and they're both longer than any map we're going to play anyway. And the bullet velocity at 831.6 meters per second is outstanding. Finally, Grandpa Newby is going to break one of his rules. And I can do that because I'm 66 years old and I've seen all the rules. But anyway, the Kimura RYL-33 laser light, what that does, another 10% decrease and the aim down sight speed and a 15% decrease in sprint to fire. So ADS is going to be 500 uh, milliseconds and that is not great. We need all the help we can get there, but sprint to fire, awesome at 239. We're only going to carry five rounds because we can't afford to put anything heavier on it. So let's take this thing into the shooting range and gack a few dummies, which is exactly what we're going to be doing in free for all gacking dummies. Just kidding, that's not very nice. And see how this thing's going to handle. After that, we'll take it onto the field of honor and see what happens. Take that, dummy. All right, getting the feel for it. Doesn't ADS quite as fast as the Stalker or the SPX-80, but it shoots straight, and that's a good thing. All right, let's take a look at it before we go into free-for-all. Let's compare the Victus with the XRK Stalker, and both are as configured. And we'll take a look at the difference. Bullet velocity, Victus all day. Rechamber time, though, and that might be important when you're rushing around. You don't want to be caught without a bullet in your chamber. Goes to the XRK Stalker by a large margin. Headshot damage, yeah, the uh, Victus is a damage machine. Neither will get a one-shot kill to the upper legs, although the Stalker is a bit more powerful. And the damage ranges are out to the moon for the Victus. Victus definitely wins there, so it's one for the bigger maps. As far as the recoil and performance, Victus wins with recoil. It's a heavier gun. You better have done your push-ups when you're carrying that thing around. The Starker wins uh, with hip fire, but who's going to be hip firing the thing? ADS, as expected, Stalker, but reload quickness. Both of them have five shots in them. Goes to the Victus, both partially empty and empty. Movement speed in a fairly large way to the Stalker. Sprint to fire speed is Mr. Victus, surprisingly enough. So let's take it in and have a look at it. Like you can see, you can see that laser. I don't like that. Whoa. Is that guy asleep over there? Has he got an easy chair he's sitting in? Just got him. Just gacked him. Revenge. So, like I said, or like I've always say, Renetti's a way to say, I love you. Make sure it's full of Cupid's arrows there. And there's somebody way over there. I don't know how I got a hit marker. I must have gone through something. He has no idea where Grandpa is. So I took my time and stuck one in his gourd. Victus is good at that. And took my time there. I mean, these guys aren't looking, are they? 
So I find myself behind, and this is really a slow lobby. So I'm going to be cutting a lot out. Uh, I use the Ruminetti to run around because the Victus is slow. Usually I just run around with my sniper rifle. But the movement speed, the tactical sprint speed, the sprint speed, the speed of whatever is much slower with the Victus. It's, it's a long range weapon. All right, a couple of love taps with the Renetti. Keeps us close. There's somebody sniffing concrete for some reason. Maybe he's a concrete addict. They have meetings every week for those people so they can give up concrete. Grandpa sees dead people, and he shoots at them. Whoa, is there somebody just sitting there? I don't know. There he is. He came, he came out from behind the barrel. I, Grandpa hit him over the barrel. So you really can feel the slowness in running around. I think the Victus is designed for long-range maps. There's a victory, but it's not a Snickers victory. It was a slow lobby, camping lobby, and we didn't get to 30 kills. So Grandpa better do better to forget that one. I'm scratching my beard thinking about shoot house. Miss. Miss. That guy's running around like a jumping bean there. Finally got him. Running around with the Renetti. I should probably switch about here. Nope. Nothing happened. Move on. Nothing to see. Throwing out the proximity mines. They also act as, there we go. They act as situational awareness, enhancing situational awareness, because when one goes off, if it doesn't gack the person, I know there's somebody coming. So it's almost like a stun grenade in terms of giving intel. Let's see if I can put out this turret without getting gacked. I'm going to put all sorts of proximity mines around it. Jump down, boom. Oh. I think I killed the wrong guy. There's the right guy. Boom. So you get the thing aimed down sight. It shoots straight. I don't like the laser, but this is the way things are. I'm going to slowly creep around. You guys are going to take out a restraining order on Grandpa for creeping. Creeping him out. So we build up a pretty good lead. I was comfortable... With the Moore's dot site by then, first I go on the small map mosh pit and do a couple to, to get a feel for the weapon, get a feel for the site. I kind of like the site. I think uh, it's no good on the SPX-80, by the way. Your hands in the way are part of the gun you're looking at. But on this weapon, it's wonderful. And final kill is a snipe. It's a Snickers win, 30 kills. My final thoughts on the Victus, if I'm rushing around, it's kind of a niche thing. It's kind of, it's fun to use, but it's really not made for it. I'd use one of the other weapons. Uh, for long range maps, it's perfect. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Helps me, helps the family. Peace.